Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer with my new video for system engineers and network administrators. So let me explain to you what I am going to show you. I am going to add disk 1 in this computer on the left side. So you can do this all or you can follow along with Windows 10 computer. So here I do have a disk 0 available. Also I have a DVD drive. So which is D, I am going to change this D drive using this PowerShell script to E first because my new disk 1 will be formatted uh, with NTFS file system. Also I want to have this disk 1 uh, drive letter D not E. So by default that comes E but I want to have a D as in David for data. So this is an example. So. Uh, the idea is that you can use this uh, video for your Windows Core operating system because I'm going to use a disk part utility from my right command line window. This PowerShell is used only one time to run this script to change drive letter from D to E. So let's go and perform uh, this first. Uh, I'm going to show you what I have here. Uh, this is a blank simple uh, drive which I'm going to create. So you can go from disk management, create a new virtual hard disk. Now I am going to use my temp disk which I created uh, a folder in my C drive. So I'm taking this one gigabyte room from my existing C drive just to give you an idea and concept. So. I'm using a GB like a gigabyte one gigabyte I will leave it as a fixed size which is recommended so here you will see that I am going to create a new drive this will take less than a minute in other words uh, 30 plus seconds so once you have this drive available this will not be initialized drive will not be online so that is why i am saying that you can manage you using a disk part utility now my one gigabyte drive has been created but again it is not initialized and drive is not online drive is not formatted we are going to use a disk part d-i-s-k-p-a-r-t utility First, we see now we have another disk, which is disk 1. Before, I had only disk 0. So, this is a disk 1 now. Now, I want to change my D drive, D as in David, to E as in Edward. So, let's go and run this script from my document folder. Uh, drive letter has been changed. Uh, you can note those codes for, from the script. So, now you can see at the left side that we have DVD drive E because I was looking for drive D for data, uh, which I'm going to give uh, D letter to this drive. So, here you can again list disk and also select your disk number, which is 1. So, once you have a disk selected, when you, when you actually run again uh, list disk, you will see asterisk on that disk. So, here uh, we have to uh, make our drive writable as well. So, you can now convert to MBR, which is a master boot record formatting option. You cannot do that because uh, my drive is offline. So, let's make it online first. We see which drive needs to be online, disk, disk 1. Now you simply type online space disk, it will become online. Now you can convert back to master boot record or MBR up to 2 terabyte drive size. Now we are going to format this drive. So this is a 1 gigabyte. I am going to create first partition then format. So currently I am creating a partition, create partition primary. So by default this is a selected drive, this will actually uh, uh, B, uh, you, this, this will be used like as a partition. So you have a partition available now. Now you can format this partition after assigning a drive letter. So assign will assign available next drive letter which is D. Right now we have D drive assigned. I don't want to format like this. I want to format through my disk part utility. So here you can actually 
uh, format your drive uh, from disk part so again make sure that you have disk one selected with asterisk now you can use format fs is a file system equal ntfs is a new technology file system label i want to put as data and i also want to make it a quick format keep an eye on the left side uh, you cannot open now until you format it uh, it will give you an error because the drive is not formatted once you hit enter drive will be formatted so let's go ahead and hit enter and keep an eye on the left side you have a drive data uh, d drive which is a data drive uh, one gigabyte healthy primary now you can open you can create folders and files inside so this is a concept so this is the concept you can use for any server remotely you can go actually into your windows core operating system you can access from a gui uh, server and perform the all tasks what i have performed right now so here i'm going to put my note my email uh, i am going to continue with couple of uh, uh, videos like this and i hope you would enjoy this video again run again this video step by step follow along Get some idea how you format a real life disk. Thank you. Bye bye.